Where are you? Christian friend, where are you? Alan Johnson was in a place he never imagined he would be. He lay in a bed in the intensive care unit of the hospital, preparing for emergency surgery. Just a few weeks ago, he had felt as though he was in excellent health and living a perfect life. How did I get in this situation? He asked the chaplain who had come to his bedside to pray for him. Allison Martin was in a place she'd always dreamed of going. As she stepped off the bus and onto college campus, several hundred miles from home, suddenly she doubted her decision to come so far for school. What am I doing here? She wondered. I don't know anyone. I feel so alone. Like Alan and Allison, you undoubtedly have found yourself on occasion in an unfamiliar place. It is an inevitable part of one's life journey. The ancient Israelites found themselves in a dry and dusty desert headed towards the Promised Land, miles from anywhere they had ever been before. Yet, even in that abandoned wasteland, God was always with them, providing them with the essentials they needed to survive, and God entrusted them with the task of caring for those essentials so that both they and others might be blessed. In a story from the book of Genesis, God called out to the first humans, Where are you? They had disobeyed God's command and eaten from the forbidden tree. They were hiding, having found themselves in a situation they had never previously experienced. Yet even in this situation of embarrassment and shame at their own failings, God did not leave them alone. Despite their punishment, God still provided for their needs and commended them to take the task for caring for God's creation. Dear Christian friend, where are you? Wherever you may be, whether in a new or familiar situation, you are always in the presence of God. And wherever you may be, God blesses you and enables you to be a blessing to others.